so everybody knows me as Pablo Corona. Um, I wasn't born Pablo Corona. I adopted Pablo Corona. I was born Paul Dyer. Um, there's one day I was helping my dad fix up his mom's house. We were looking to fix it up and put it on the market and sell it. And at this, where we were, where we were cutting, I think we were cutting for um, cabinets, was this well about 15 feet away. It was about, oh, it's about eight to 10 feet deep. And I remember when I was a kid, I was playing around it and I kind of backed up to it and I fell, fell straight down and hit hard on the bottom of this well. And I remember that just, it felt like five minutes falling. Just everything kind of, I didn't know that I came upon it, just this falling sensation. And everything just got dark. And, but I woke up and I was okay. Well, as, as I was going through life, middle school was really tough. I know it's a current theme, but <laughs> they used to have these like this machine guns with full of invisible ink, like Zap It, I think it was called. I didn't think, I didn't think about this until today, but this Zap It used to spray in, is invisible ink. So when it sprayed you, you like got completely covered in this color and then it faded over time. Well, it was, I, I don't remember what year birthday party, uh, but I remember really vividly. I, I had friends over and on, in the room where I was at, I have a bathroom there, and everybody that came over didn't necessarily want to hang out with me. And they all like congregated in the bathroom, and then someone had the bright idea, hey, let's piss in this, let's piss in this gun and shoot Paul with it. And they did, and I was hurt. It's an invisible ink gun that should fade, but that ink didn't. <laughs> and it just stayed with me forever. And so, as I'm going through life, that's just like a, a peak of the times that I've been bullied over my life. And that's the, t that's the things that I remember about me being Paul. And so as I was helping my dad fix up my grandma's house, I heard rumors that his dad wasn't his dad, that the dire bloodline wasn't here, I was just named that because my, grand, my dad took that name too. And so I asked him, I was like, yeah. And both of my sisters knew, everybody knew but me. And it just kind of, I fell into this mental free fall in my mind and I'm right next to this well where that literally happened. And it's so difficult because I'm so proud of what my father's accomplished, I mean, the house he grew up in with, with his siblings was, I mean, this part of this room is smaller than, I mean, this part of this room is larger than the house that he grew up in. And he worked really, really hard, really, really hard to make sure that I was able to have everything that I'd ever wanted. I've gone to Poland several times. I've gone to Europe. I've had a really great life. And, but, that ink didn't fade, and I always associate all of this bad stuff that's happened in my life to this person, this Paul Dyer, so I kind of compartmentalized it. And Pablo Corona, Corona is actually my mom's maiden name. Pablo is a nickname because I'm artsy. But, and so there was this clear moment where I said, I want to say goodbye to all those things that hurt me. And I, stopped being Paul Dyer and I took Pablo Corona. And there's still though this, and another theme tonight is not being able to really say goodbye because I know my dad's right over here but I've really never had that intense conversation with him like how do you feel about that? And he knows very much that I appreciate so much of the work that he's done to make sure that I'm, I've never desired anything, that I've been taken very well care of. And there's that, this internal fight of, okay, you know, how is it that, how is it that I'm gonna honor him by, how am I gonna honor him when I'm not taking his name? 
And so that's what really drives me to be as like drives me to be creating things. I'm always trying to create stuff and say, hey, what do you think of this? Because there's this internal push of, you know, what is my identity? Who am I? And my identity is what I create. And so that's why when I took pa Pablo Corona, I left Paul Dyer behind because I'm going to craft a new life for me. Thank you.